Hello everyone. Welcome to Catherine's ESL classroom. In today's lesson, we are going to learn about autumn. So welcome to autumn, everyone. How are you doing today? Are you excited to learn about autumn? And what is another name for autumn? I'll give you a hint. It's a verb. It comes from the leaves falling from the trees. So what could that be? We are also going to learn about autumnal equinox and what happens during autumn. So let's have some fun, everyone. So how is everyone doing? I'm doing fantastic. In today's lesson, welcome to autumn part one. This will be part one of part two. So stay tuned for part two in our another lesson. What will we review? What does autumn mean? What's autumnal or fall equinox? What are the differences between equinox and solstice? What happens during the autumn? What are the months in the fall? Okay, so what does autumn mean? What does it mean to you? Autumn means fall or season of harvest. Let's just repeat season of harvest just to help you with pronunciation. Season of harvest. Now you try. Good job. The first day of fall marks the autumnal equinox, which is different from a solstice. So here is a map of equinox and solstice. So we are talking about the autumn, which is now, we call this autumnal or fall equinox. This happens during September 22nd or September 23rd. This is when it starts. In 2022, this year, it landed on September 22nd. I believe in New York State, Eastern Standard Time, it was what, at what time? Does anyone know? I believe it was at 9.04 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Now, here is the map of the Northern Hemisphere equinox and solstice, okay? This is what we're talking about, the Northern Hemisphere. So remember this, okay? So the Northern hemis Hemisphere would be in the United States, okay? So this is what we're talking about here. Now, during autumn, okay, the Northern Hemisphere, we are talking about autumnal or fall equinox. But what does equinox mean? Equinox means equal plus night, okay? Equinox originates from a Latin word. It means it's a day and night of equal length. However, the solstice, which happens twice a year, just like the equinox, it means sun plus to stand still. So during the autumnal equinox, the sun will be directly over the Earth's equator. Everyone gets a day and night lasting 12 hours each. Now, to learn more about the equinox and solstice, I'll just touch on a few things. So the winter solstice lands on either December 21st or the 22nd. This means the South Pole is tilted towards the sun. But the autumnal equinox, it's not either towards or, or away from the sun because it's of equal day and night length, okay? The vernal or spring equinox lands on either March 20th or the 21st, and the summer solstice lands on either June 20th or the 22nd. This means the North Pole is tilted towards the sun, okay? This is just a very brief overview of equinox and solstice, okay? On the autumnal equinox, summer officially ends and fall officially begins. 
So remember, equinox is not a day long astronomical event. It's a brief moment in time when the sun appears directly over the Earth's equator. Okay, so just out of fun, let's pronounce the word astronomical. This is a tough one. Astronomical. You try. Astronomical. You get it? Try again. Good job. Now let's try this one. Autumnal equinox. Autumnal equinox. Now you try. Good job. Autumn is one of the four seasons. The weather is not very warm anymore. It starts to get colder. It is usually rainy, foggy, and windy. Okay, so you'll notice during the day, it's a lot warmer, but the morning and the evening starts to get a lot colder. School starts, right, everyone? Who has children? We start to wear warm clothes, such as long-sleeved shirts, pants, and sweaters. Leaves change color. If you notice here in the picture, it goes from green all the way to orange, like the yellow and the orange, and then becomes red, and then like a nice burnt red, right? So leaves start to fall off to the ground. That is why in the United States of America, USA, autumn is called fall. Remember, that was the verb in the beginning that I was talking about. So when the leaves fall, that is why we call it fall. That's why we call from autumn or fall. That's your choice. In autumn, there is less sunlight because the days are shorter. What a beautiful scenery. Animals and insects store up food, such as nuts and berries before the winter comes. So what kind of animals are these? What do you think they are? So we have squirrels, right? Storing up nuts. And in the picture in the middle, storing up berries. So what's the picture all the way to the right? What kind of animal is this? Field mouse. Who's afraid of mouse? Mice, right? Field mouse. We have mouse as in singular and mice, M-I-C-E, as in plural. So you won't say field mouses, you would, you would say field mice. See, good job picking that up. Some birds are flying south. Remember, some birds, not all. I think I gave it away the next one. So do all birds migrate? Absolutely not. Most birds that eat fruits or insects must move south in the winter in order to find enough food to survive. Many birds that eat seeds can find plenty of food over the winter months to survive. In order to find enough food, birds make different kinds of migrations. So what does migration mean? Migration means, what do you think? So if birds migrate, right? They are flying south, right? The ones that are migrating down south, they are flying down south, okay? So you wouldn't say birds fly down south migrate. You would either say birds migrate down south or you would say birds fly down south. There you go. So migration just means moving, moving from one location to another location. In this case, birds fly. Oh, forgot one. What is the name of this bird? Does anyone know? I think I gave you a hint. It's Clark's nutcracker. Let's just repeat this word. Well, two words, the name of the bird. 
Clark's Nutcracker. Good job. Bears eat as much as they can to become fat for the winter when they hibernate. So what, are, what is the bear or bears, what are the bears doing in these pictures? So on the left, what is the bear doing? He caught a fish. And what do you think he's going to be doing with it next? That's right, he's going to eat it. Which is the fish that bears love the most? I'll give you a hint, it starts with an S. Salmon. How do we spell salmon? S-A-L-M-O-N, good job. Now, in the picture all the way to the right, what is the bear doing? That's right, he is eating berries. Now, what happens when they become fat? The bears are storing up fat because they have to eat a lot. And what happens during the winter when it's cold? That's right, they hibernate, the one in the middle. The bear is hibernating. He's sleeping in the cave and he's now ready for winter because he ate all the fish and all the berries. So what does hibernate mean again? That's right. They are sleeping during the winter. They just, they're not active in the winter, okay? There are many delicious fruits and vegetables during autumn or fall. Why is it called fall again? That's right, because the leaves fell from the trees. Pears, mushrooms. What do you think these are? Oh, maize. We can either say maize or corn. Apples. What kind of apples are these? Granny Smith is the green one. Red Delicious, or it could be a Macintosh or another red apple, a red one. And what's the yellow one called? Golden Apple. Okay, so we have Granny Smith. We have Red Delicious. Okay, could be Red Delicious. It could be Macintosh. And there are many more other red apples. And then we have the golden, the golden yellow ones. Potatoes. Okay, it's not potatoes, it's potatoes. Carrots. Okay, let's just do the pronunciation up from the top, top left. Pears, mushrooms, maize, corn, apples. What's the green one called? Granny Smith. Good job. What's the yellow one called? Golden delicious? Golden apple? Everyone says it a little bit different. And what are the red ones? They could be, there are many of them, right? Macintosh, red delicious. Okay. Potatoes. Carrots. Good job. Now remember, not all mushrooms are edible, meaning you can't eat all mushrooms because some of them are poisonous. So you have to remember when you see mushrooms in the ground, okay, and you see them next to trees and stuff, you have to know your mushrooms. You can't just eat them, okay? Now, the autumn months or the full months. Let's just repeat this word again. This might be difficult for some. Autumn, now you try. Good job. One more time, autumn, fantastic. Now, what are the months in autumn? I'll give you a hint. There are three of them. September, October, November. Now, let's just practice these words again for pronunciation. Repeat after me. September, September. Now the P is a very soft P. September, 
October, November. Awesome job. In autumn, school starts. Remember that? In the United States, we celebrate Halloween and Thanksgiving. There are a lot of activities we can do in autumn. So what are these pictures telling you? Hmm, let's look at the top left, okay? There are two actually pictures top left. So what do you think this is? Do you think this is school? Do you think this is Halloween? Do you think this is Thanksgiving? Or it could be something else. Looks like they're dressed up in costumes, right? They're in costumes. The one all the way to the left in green with the orange flower in the hair. And on the women, looks like they are dressed as cactuses. Ooh, those are the prickly. They usually are in like very dry climates such as Arizona or Nevada, okay? So be careful with those. And then we have the girl with the feathers. What do you think she's dressed as? She's dressed as maybe as an Indian, as a Native American Indian. Could be another tribe too, right? What about the one on the bottom to the left? Ooh, they're all dressed as witches, right? What do you think? Anything else? Maybe they're like just having fun all in costumes, okay? so. When you are wearing clothes that you don't normally wear, you are use you are wearing a costume to kind of celebrate a tradition or just to have fun. So what kind of event you think this is when they're dressed up in, in costumes? Do you think it's school, Halloween, or Thanksgiving? Or do you think it's something else? I'll give you a hint. It starts with an H. Halloween. Let's just practice this word. Halloween. Okay, what about the one in the middle on top? What do you think this is? What's the story behind here? School, that's right. The children are in class and they are looking at the teacher writing on the chalkboard. Okay, what about the one all the way to the right? There are two children. What are they playing in? What's the story behind here? That's right, they are playing with the leaves. What color are the leaves here? Do you think it's summer leaves, spring leaves, winter leaves, or fall leaves? That's right, autumn leaves. What's another name for autumn? Fall. All right, what about the one in the middle on the bottom? It says, give thanks to the Lord for he is good. Now in typical traditions during Thanksgiving, one that practices Catholicism, you know, maybe they're Catholic or just giving thanks to maybe your, your friends, your family. It doesn't have to be to the Lord. What do you think happens here? Do you think this is a holiday? That's right. What kind of holiday is it? Thanksgiving. You're so smart. All right. So let's, what's, what's going to happen next? <gasps> Stay tuned for part two. Why? Because we are going to learn about the holidays in the fall or autumn. We are also going to learn the history behind a famous holiday in the fall. We are also going to have a summary of the autumnal, autumnal fall equinox. And then we are going to have a knowledge check to test your knowledge. Now this will be part two, so stay tuned. So how did everyone do in part one? Was this really difficult? Do you think this was too easy or just right? So if this was too easy, go to part two immediately, obviously. <laughs> so thank you, everyone, everyone. Thank you, everyone, everyone. Happy autumn and happy fall. Have some fun, okay? I know everyone's probably raking leaves soon and this might be very burdensome. But it's also fun, especially if you have children to help you out bag them. Okay. If you play with them during the fall, then you as a family will enjoy it more. So bye everyone. Happy fall. Happy autumn.